Hello guys and welcome to part 6 of our Barclays Premier League preview and today we're going to talk about two end clubs Newcastle and Norwich um, the two clubs well, have had differ during the last seasons uh, Newcastle just staying up on the last day of the season with a win at tw uh, against West Ham 2-0 uh, with Jonas Gutierrez scoring the goal or scoring the second goal and however he got released uh, which in some senses is very cruel um, and obviously Norwich um, or, um, winning the playoff final against Middlesbrough and today I've got Tom Hello and Michael with me again Hello uh, Yeah, the, the, yeah, you're just solid um, and today we have two clubs, Newcastle uh, and Norwich City both had differing seasons uh, with Newcastle just staying up in the last day of the season with Jonas Gutierrez, a late goal to secure the 2 0 win against West Ham. However, Jonas sadly was released by by Newcastle, and it was it was it was poor poor PR. Um, and the, the way that Newcastle treated him was 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 extremely poor. Um, um, and and Norwich, um, they they won the playoffs. Uh, they won the playoffs semi final against Ipswich. Then they won the final against Millsborough 2 0, and I was there, and that was great day out. But now let's go on to Newcastle before we talk about Norwich and playoffs, because um, Michael will just kill me. Um, they've signed Mitrovic from Anderlecht, he's only 20, um, Richnalem from PSV, and, and Bemba from Anderlecht. So they've, they've, sp they've spent a lot of money, haven't they, Tom? Yeah, I mean, the players they've brought in uh, seem to be, you know, they're all, well, Apart from Mbemba, who possibly could be like 50 years old, and um, they're all kind of you know they've got uh, quite a few years ahead of them, and you know Mitrovic is very young, um, and he's already you know he's done very well, uh, so it should be interesting to see how he does in the Premier League. Spend a lot of money on them, uh, just because you know they're quite big name, uh, big name young players, um, and they're the, they were the ones that were willing to to take the risk to bring them into the Premier League. For those big transfer fees, but the main factor of this this summer for Newcastle is that they've actually got a proper manager. Because John Carver, he was a disgrace, really. He wasn't a proper manager. He was just caretaker, and Mark actually was as too lazy to appoint a, a real manager uh, after the party left to to Crystal Palace. So, uh, you know, it's a great appointment, Steve McLaren. Uh, he's got a lot of experience in in managerial. Uh, senses and and it's good to see Mark Ashley's actually pulled his finger up uh, out of his arse and he's actually done something. Yeah, well, they, I mean, they were definitely looking now, obviously, with the signings and the appointment to improve upon that fifteenth place last season, and they really want to be getting up there, um, further up the table. Mm. Um, I'm still not sure if the squad is good enough to to make a major improvement, but. Uh, I think they're making uh, steps in the right direction in terms yeah. of you know getting up to the table and trying to eventually get uh, you know top ten and maybe even higher in the coming seasons. It's crazy about um, Newcastle finished above Sunderland last season. They've had a, they had a torrid season, but they still finished above New, uh, Sunderland, the heart rivals last season. So I think. I think Newcastle will have a much better season. And let's let's go on to our predictions. Uh, Mark, I'll, I'll start off with you. Um, I've got Newcastle in eleventh place. Oh, because okay. I think that they've significantly improved the squad to finish fifteenth last season, and I think they'll be able to build on that, and maybe in like a few seasons' time push for Europa League place. But I think they're slowly working their way back up to where they originally were. So I've got them eleventh at the moment. Tom, do you agree with Michael, or are you have uh, a different opinion? I I've got them a little bit lower down. Uh, how little? How big? Uh, well, I put them fifteenth. Whoa! So it's, so you're thinking? I'm thinking the same position. The same position because I think they're kind of lucky. The investment of Mitrovic, yeah. Rukunalem, and, and Bemba. Yeah, I'm thinking you know fourteenth, fifteenth because I don't. I think they were kind of lucky in a way to finish where they did uh, at the end of last season. Um, you, know. you have to admit, you have to think that Carver wasn't, you know, he's not good enough in the Premier League. Carver, and now with Steve McLaren, clearly they will have, they will definitely have a better season. 
Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I don't know. I think just when you consider the kind of transfers that have gone through um, for the clubs that are around them, I'm just not sure if like they're going to be able to make a massive improvement this season. I'm just a bit sceptical on as well whether the transfers, the players that they've brought in, are going to be good enough to make that massive improvement straight away. I reckon it's going to take them a little bit of time to settle in and get used to the league and know what they have to do to to get the points. So I don't know. I th- I think at the moment I can only see them coming, you know, fourteenth, fifteenth. Uh, I've also I've all, I actually agree with Michael uh, for once. Uh, but we we, uh, we actually agree on these predictions. Funny enough, I've got them down as eleventh. But what did, what does Calm think? He's still on holiday again. He's back. Uh, he'll be back the next time you're listening. Really? Calm's yeah. gone thirteenth. So Calm's gone for the unlucky thirteen. So where do you want to put Newcastle in our Premier League prediction table? Um, since Tom put 15th, we put 11th. Do you want to put them like in between, maybe where Colm put them 13th, if we haven't already yeah. got something there? I think 13th is a relatively realistic proposition for where they might finish at the end of the okay. season. So we have put Newcastle in 13th. Now we, go, now we move on swiftly to Norwich City, who are now back in the Premier League. My team, but you don't care. You don't need to know that or care about that. But they've they were a bit um, quite quiet in the transfer market. But in the past week, they've made three more signings. So Houston Malone Booth from West Brom are three. Graham Dorrance from West Brom again. <laughs> Ori Brady from Hull City. Andre Wisdom on loan from Liverpool, and Jake Keegan uh, free from Blackburn. Uh, where should we start, Tom? Where do you? I think we should start with the manager. Uh, with Alec Neal coming in to, to the side because he or coming to, to manage because he, he turned turned around that season didn't he yeah well um, he's I mean they finished third uh, obviously you know being a, a Norwich fan but mm-hmm. um, just outside of that automatic promotion and I think you know they were the best team uh, definitely in the playoffs um, so deservedly in the Premier League um, and it's been kind of a bit of I mean people weren't sure about if Norwich uh, whether it's down to the manager or the board whether they're not bringing in enough players that are going to improve whereas kind of the other uh, Watford and Bournemouth have both brought in quite a lot of players um, to improve uh, the squad um, but I don't know I think uh, Alex Neil, you know he's definitely he's definitely been really good to turn Norwich around and get him promoted and I don't know, I think he's you know, he's gonna be a really good uh, manager for them and I think he could be one of their main reasons for uh, if they do manage to stay up in the following season. Well it'd be good to see a Scottish manager back in the Premier League after Fergie and and, and Lambert uh, getting sacked. Um obviously none, but now Alec Neal is, is in, so one for the Scots there. Big shoes to follow. So mm. Um I think with Norwich they have made they've done arguably the worst in the transfer window so far obviously no offence to the Brady Wisdom Dorans Malumbu but um, they but I think on paper they have the most experienced squad for the division already with meaning that they don't necessarily have to buy as much as Bournemouth and Watford who have players that have never experienced the Premier League before obviously Norwich's squad is very similar from what it was when they got relegated, which could be a good or a bad thing because they might have learned from their mistakes now. Obviously, by a few players, but um, <coughs> I think that yeah. looking at their squad already, they're in a very good position to stay up with players like um, Houlihan, Cameron Jerome, who've obviously played in the Premier League a lot before, Nathan Redmond as well. That They've got like a very strong squad for the division already. Yeah, I think with watching like a lot as I'm a season to cold it. I think when when we got relegated it was a lot of it was it, I have to say it was poor tactics from Chris Ewan and I, I don't want to solely blame the, the manager because there is obviously you have to blame the players too uh, but the tactics uh, and the tactical approach from Chris Ewan was completely wrong in that in that season and it just didn't gel we, if you, we scored eight, 28 goals that, that relegation, uh, relegated season it's not enough. It's not enough in the Premier League. That is the only issue at the moment. I feel like 
we do have a lot of goals from midfield uh, in Tony House and Bradley Johnson and Redmond can chip in sometimes. Um, even Houlihan gets a few, but I think we'll need uh, another proven goal scorer in the Premier League, and that's why I was I was so hoping f- to for Ricky Lambert to join Norwich because he would have guaranteed a ten ten goals plus. Um, but there's there's rumours link with us with uh, M. Bakani from Dynamo Kiev, who looks a very strong player, six foot two, target man. Uh, he's done very well with, with Anderlecht before uh, Dynamo Kiev. So yeah. if hopefully um, if we can get him, then I know it's um, it's a bit of a risk, but um, hopefully we can he can be our main striker. But well, you never know. This is the thing I think. Norwich have, like Michael said, we have a squad more uh, suitable for for the Premier League, and I think. I can't. Uh, I can name Sermon for Bournemouth, who's played there before, but and Burrage and Federici, but not many. And, and for Watford, they got Ben Watson, who's experienced, um, experienced head in there. So it'll be interesting to see how all three new, newly promoted teams, uh, as we put we put Bournemouth seventeenth in the in the um, our prediction table. So where do you think Norwich will will finish? In my prediction, I'm eighteenth. Sorry, Josh, but Sorry. Um, I don't know. I think there's there's many ways it could go, um, but I think 18th seems like I don't think they're going to be the worst team in the Prem. I think they're going to be battling to the very last day. Um, we'll have to see how it goes, but I think they've got a good team in the Premier League. But I don't know. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to to stay up. Uh, Michael, do you agree with Tom? Or? Um, I've got them 18th as well. But after having that discussion with you, um, I think that I don't know. I, th- I think I've had a change of heart, and I think they might actually stay up now because they they have got a, one of the strongest squads out, like the strongest squad out of the teams that got promoted. Obviously, there were. Um, there were the playoff winners and did considerably worse than Watford and Bournemouth last season, but they've got the most experienced players. But them players are the same ones that got them relegated, so it's a bit of like I don't know, it's a bit of a predicament. But now I'm th- I think I'm going to say 18 still. Yeah, I think to for Norwich's success next season will be to win against teams like Watford and, and Bournemouth and Sunderland and those kind of. Uh, West Brom, Leicester, those kind of things. You need to pick maximum points in it. Last season, the championship, we we picked out uh, we picked up ten um, points out of twelve against the two top two sides of the championship, and we did the double over Watford. I'm pretty sure we were we were the only team to do that. So um, that's a sense it's positive. But what has Colm put? I think it'll be interesting what Colm has put. Colm's got nineteenth. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I feel I, I, I may be a bit generous, but I, I've got the 16th. I think they'll stay up. I think we've got enough talent in the score of that, and we just need a couple of them, um, couple more additions. And I think they will definitely come because Alex Neil and oh, Alex Neil and David Manali, the chief executive, are very confident that they can get a striker in and. And possibly and maybe another centre centre de- uh, centre defender, a central defender. Um, um, yeah, if I think then we'll we, um, we'll be sorted and ready to go and, and take them a Premier League. Yeah, well, where do you think we should put them in our uh, our final Premier League table? Because obviously, um, um, well, we've got Bournemouth seventeenth yeah, and got, Freeze. We've got Leicester sixteenth as well. Yeah. So, I think. I don't know. Did we, you... did we put Leicester sixteenth? Fucking hell! I got in nineteenth. I think we'd have to put Norwich in a relegation zone. Yeah, we're going to have to put them seventeen, eighteenth. Uh, All right, so we'll put Norwich in eighteenth in our Premier League prediction for this season. And on to now, or oh, on to our final segment of the of the preview uh, part six, and it's now fancy football tips with Michael. Yes, so for Newcastle, we think you should get Darwell Yamma, the defender. He's selected by 8.4% of players. He's worth 5 million. 
and he got one goal and eight assists last season. He also got eight clean sheets. We also think he should get Tim Cruel in goal. He's worth 4.5 million, owned by 7.1% of players, and he got one assist and eight clean sheets last season. He got one assist for, from goal? Yep. <laughs> and for Norwich, we think you should get Nathan Redmond. He's worth 5.5. He wasn't in the Premier League last season, but the season before, he got one goal and three assists. He got 80 points in that season, but he's obviously a much better player now. And in the same season, uh, we think you should. We got uh, we got Wes Hulahan. He's selected by 0.6 percent of players. He's worth 5.5 million, and he got one goal and one assist. I think I'm one of those 0.6 percent. Uh, I might actually have that. No, I think I've, I'll definitely put Redmond in because um, I think he'll really have a, a very good season. I hope so. <laughs> he needs to really if we have a chance of staying up. But that concludes part six of our. Of his Premier League preview, and the season is under a week away to start. Um, exciting times ahead, we hope. Uh, so it's the bye from my, uh, the fang on before I say uh, check out on Twitter at Switch Play YT, follow us on Twitch, Switch Play Podcast, and we will be streaming this coming weekend. Uh, I don't know when, but just check our Twitter, oh, keep it on our Twitter feed, and you'll find out when we are streaming. So it's, uh, it's a bye from Michael. Bye. So it's a bye from Tom. Goodbye. And it's bye from me. Bye.